morning family. I hope you had a uh, special week this week that uh, you were able to celebrate and uh, take part in the, the Thanksgiving holiday. I thank our forefathers for their intelligence there in, in making a special day set aside for Thanksgiving. Um, we all have things we need to reflect back on and, and realize how blessed we really are. I also know that this Thanksgiving was probably a lot different uh, and it may be even more difficult than any that you've ever had, but uh, God has always intended for us to take and reflect, uh, examine our, our lives there and uh, realize all the blessings that uh, we do have and that, that he's bestowed upon us. As a blessing for this new week, I'd like to um, share um, an example of a man that uh, had a uh, reflection on his life and um, in doing so the results of uh, what that uh, reflection ended up being. Um, the man's name uh, was Eugene uh, Barlett. Um, he was born in 1885 and died in 1941. Uh, although you probably don't recognize the name, uh, he has had an impact and an influence there, probably on most of our, our lives there. Uh, Eugene was a man that loved singing. He loved music, and he spent his life and career uh, developing uh, that uh, talent and skill of his uh, in the music industry. Uh, he started a publishing company. Um, he uh, produced and uh, provided a lot of uh, song books that some of us are uh, familiar with. He wrote songs and um, uh, held singing camps and seminars there all, all through the South there in um, trying to promote music, and especially music in the church. Um, we don't know too much about uh, Eugene, but um, he must have had a sense of humor because one of the, uh, the songs that uh, would later be picked up and sang, uh, sung by a, a country artist, Little Jimmy Dickens, in 1951, was called Take the Cold Tater and Wait. Um, it's a song about probably his childhood where his mother entertained a lot of visiting ministers and uh, he would be always the, uh, the last one to be fed. So uh, that, that song in itself is quite humorous. But the song that you probably are more familiar with ended up being the last song that he would ever write. Uh, this happened in 1939 when he suffered a, uh, a bedridden stroke and uh, was unable to speak. And in those remaining few years there, uh, he reflected on his life and wrote this particular song. Uh, it's a song about our Lord and his salvation that we have in him. Uh, it's a song about the healing that comes through um, Christ and uh, what we can be able to put our, our faith in him. And it's a song about a reward that, uh, that we all have. The song had been sung through many uh, years of old there uh, at, at camp meetings as an invitational song. And it's a song that uh, once you hear the title, you'll understand and remember some of the words that go along with it. The song was a victory in Jesus. And Eugene wrote that song while he was probably in the worst days of his life. Um, he was uh, in, a, in a lot of pain and suffering, and yet he was able to sing, or he was able to write, 
a, a song of great encouragement and, and joy. And it's a, a song that speaks uh, a whole lot about all of our lives that we have in Christ. And that is that we all enjoy that victory in Jesus. Hope you have a good week. Thank you.